All right, good morning, guys. So it is day 10 of training. I know I've been gone. Things have been kind of crazy. Um, I finished and passed successfully on my first try my door drill yesterday. So I'm super excited to be proud of myself. Um, this week, we've been waking up a lot earlier than the first week. So I'm super tired, super anxious because we have our actual written, um, our first written exam today. So I'm ready. I think I'm prepared, but obviously that always comes with a level of mystery for what's exactly going to be on the test. So I will keep you guys updated. I'm about to go have breakfast and hurry up and catch this bus. But thank you guys for watching. If you've watched this far, and go ahead and like and subscribe and comment if you're feeling it. All right, you guys, so we're getting ready to cheer on class 2215. This is their first day in the training center. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, that's seniority for us, you know? <laughs> I mean, people. Okay. Get out. All Leak right, y'all. So they're coming. good morning you guys uh, i know i've been away for a few days today is actually day 15 so it's the first day of week three i'm so excited we're chugging right along i can't wait for this to be over um i have a lot to fill you guys in on um it's 5 45 right now i'm about to head down because um our bus leaves at 6 10 um so i'm gonna really try to remember today to fill you guys in on what's been going on um nothing crazy just a lot and I've kind of been busy and meeting some really awesome people. And yeah, I know, I know, I know. Like, I should be focused on studies. And I am. I'll have you guys know. I got a 96 on my first exam, a 100 on my second, and a 100 on my quiz. So, I am focused. I am studying. But um, I'm also been, I have also been able to balance um, going out and having a good time while still focusing on my studies. That probably won't be the case this week because we do have like cabin prep drills and evacuation drills and other things coming up in these next couple of weeks. So it's really about to get a little bit more challenging, but um, I'm still confident, still holding, uh, still positive about the whole experience. And like I said, I will try to come back and fill you guys in later. All right, y'all, so I'm out here on a little breaky break. Um, and I guess I'll fill you guys in a little bit. So, like I said, this is week three, day one. Um, week two was primarily about our general aircraft and um, just getting familiar with our policies and procedures and how a typical flight is supposed to go and be ran. Um, it wasn't bad. Like I said, I got 100% on the SOP exam. So, um, you know, I can't say whether it was just easy or if I was taking some of my experience on my last airline and it kind of just helped me with this. But um, it definitely wasn't too hard. I feel like if you listen in class and you do the homework that's assigned to you and take notes and just take an hour out of your day to study, you'll be successful. Um, I don't feel like the class is as rigorous, the training is as rigorous as Envoys only because um, it is six and a half weeks. So I feel like it's stretched out. They give you time to learn and um you know really get your mind right for each week so i don't know i think it's going well but um i'm gonna go inside here now and check and see what time our class has to be back because i don't want to be the only one out here and running late so we can come outside for a break which is sketching me out so yeah y'all but i'm enjoying it 30 days left today. So, a month from now, I will be graduating and I will have my wing. And yeah, I'm excited for it. So, I'll catch y'all later. Um, so, I'm here. It's Saturday. It's the last day of week four. We were off today. 
oops sorry y'all it's sunday the last day of week four so tomorrow we start week <laughs> i cannot believe it i literally cannot believe it sorry about that freak out y'all but i'm too excited i am too excited like I'm too excited. week five okay week five <laughs> this is a really long training and i cannot believe i'm about to start week five so aircraft week is coming up um people say it's a tent some people say it's not um i'm not too worried about it i think it'll be perfectly fine we're gonna be learning all our aircraft um my group is learning the 319 and 320 tomorrow so it's the airbus it's the only airbus we have in our fleet even though we're adding the um a321 which i'm super excited about because i really do like airbuses um and then throughout the week, I'm going to be learning a different aircraft each day. They had to split the group down into four. <sighs> you guys, what can I say about this training? I've been through a flight attendant training, obviously. And I think that it's definitely a few calibers harder than a regional training like for sure I'll just come out and say that like I had doubts like when I came from my regional training to come here you know I had people telling me it's gonna be way harder it's gonna be this sort of but me I'm the type of person I look at the next guy and I'm like oh they did it like why can't I do it but it is definitely harder um and I don't know if that's because I'm taking what I know from my last training and applying like kind of comparing it or if it's just harder or if it's just something I want more so it's like more stressful I don't know but it's longer it's two and a half weeks longer than my last training I would have been graduating like today at my last training um I don't know guys like it is just something different for sure um but I have loved every second of it. I feel like I've learned so much as a flight attendant. And obviously I had a lot of these basic things as a last, at my last airline. But I feel like hearing it a second time, I'm a stronger flight attendant. I can apply those things better because I've heard it before. Um, and I just feel like they've prepared me so well to take on this career and I'm so excited. I've met some lifelong friends and people that I will never forget. Um, I feel like I've done some amazing things in H-Town. Like I love Houston. Like I love Houston. I really did not think I was going to enjoy Houston as much as I did. I love Houston. So I'll be back. <laughs> Honestly, thinking about putting my transfer in. I got Dallas, so I got DC, but I'm thinking about putting my transfer into Houston um, after about like a year. After about a year. Probably put it in like my nine month mark. Yeah, Houston's a vibe, y'all. And rent is way cheaper. But um, where was I going with that? Um, but yeah, like training. So last week we had a lot. That was definitely our hell week. Week three, we had our ABA briefings. I passed that with flying colors. I did not have to repeat that. So I was so blessed. Um, week four, we had our evacuation drills. I did not have to repeat that, but I did lose some people that I really cared about. So that was really hard, but our class came together really close because of that. So I'm still grateful for the experience. I'm still grateful for everything, you know. And then we had our first aid exam and our emergency procedures exam, which I was under the impression those were going to be really hard. They were really easy to me. So again, don't know if that's just preparation or it's just not that hard. I don't know. That's something you as a student as a flight attendant trainee will have to figure out for yourself um but either way whether it was a hard exam or not I felt prepared and I feel like if you pay attention and you apply yourself in training you will be prepared um 
like I said, this next week coming up is our aircraft week. Then after that, it's finals week. So final doors, final exam, we learn service, and then first aid, like um, actual like uh, first aid um, hands-on like drill, I would say. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a lot happening next week. I got my uniform. I don't feel like I look good in it, but honestly, it's because a lot of it is either too big or too small. Um, so that is something that I'm going to have to deal with. But apparently the company gives you coupons to get the stuff fitted how you bike. So that's something that Envoy did not give me. So I'm very blessed and appreciative of that. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to go to the pool. My Some of my frenzies are waiting on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. I just wanted to come and spend some time with you guys to update you guys on week five because I know, I know it's been like hit and miss with my recording, but I've been so busy. But yeah, y'all, that's how it's going. I'm loving it so far. I feel like if you wanna come, do it. Don't be scared. Like they're going to teach you everything you need to know. And we're here, y'all. We're almost to the finish line. Okay, bye. So I am on technically tomorrow, which is Monday will be week seven. So I am getting ready to graduate. I graduate in four days, you guys, four days. Um, so I can't remember where I last spoke to you guys. I think I was in either week four of um, doing evacs or week three doing briefings i think it was week four i think i had told you guys that i passed my evac drills and um you guys like i thought that was the hump i thought that was the biggest part to everything like you know if i get past that everything will be fine um but no that's not how it went um training definitely doesn't really slow up after week four um i think that's kind of a myth about like hell week it definitely was hell week but um the intensity it stays kind of up there for the rest of the training so i think that's something huge for anybody to know if you were planning to come to um training with united um just be prepared that after about week three week four it's going to be really intense. Um, I also would like to say that it's nothing that's not doable at all. I think that you just have to come in with a positive mindset and just remember what you're here for. I think it's easy because it is six and a half weeks that you get so comfortable and it starts to feel like home and like we're just kind of kicking it and chilling that it's not still a very intense program. Um, and it is for sure but like I said I'm here I had only been a flight attendant previously before this for a month so I don't think anyone should take feel like you can't do it if you weren't a previous flight attendant there's also other classmates that I have who have never been flight attendants and they're successful um, it's all just a mindset thing and I will say you do have to be a fast learner um, we learn things and get tested on them the same day and we're expected to remember them, you know, for the rest of our career, technically. So um, I think that the biggest thing is know yourself, know what you're capable of, but don't count yourself out. It's definitely not impossible. Um, but anyways, as far as an update of what's been going on, last week was aircraft week. So we learned the 767, 757, the 777, the 87, and the Airbus. Um, yeah, just want to make sure I wasn't forgetting any. Yeah, so we learned all of those. And then this week six, that was week five. So then week six, um, I had my final exam. So basically my finals on everything, my final exam, my final equipments final CPR drills and my final doors. 
Um, all of those are really, really intense. Okay, CPR and equipment, it, not so much. I wouldn't us underestimate equipment because it's really easy to fail because there's a particular way that everything needs to be done. But as long as you just review your material, you'll be fine. Um, that's honestly with anything though, review your material and you'll be successful. I think where people kind of get kind of messed up is they let their anxiety and their nervousness get the best of them. And it's really hard in those situations to not. But if you just stay focused and ground yourself in what you know, what you learned, what you practice, you can definitely um, get through it. <sighs> but now that I did all my finals, I have not graduated yet, but there are no more grades that need that I have to go through. There's no more components of this training that can, you know, send me home unless I do something really stupid, like um, just behavioral wise. Um, but our IOEs or well, my IOE is coming up on Tuesday. So I am going to be going flying to Dulles and it'll be a four person crew. And it's all of my classmates, or four other, three other classmates, should I say. And we're basically going to be running the whole flight. We're going to be arming and disarming the doors. We're going to be doing the PAs, the service, all of that. So I'm excited about it. I'm ready to finally get back in the sky. I miss it so much. Um, but I made it, you guys. So I think that I'm probably going to end the vlog here. And, um, or I might not, I might record like my IOE day. I can't record actual the flight, but I might, no, I can't record any of it because we're not allowed to be on the phone in the concourse. So, um, that's going to be really hard for me to do. So I think I'm going to just end it here. Um, and I might have like a specific, I think I might have a separate vlog for my graduation day and I'll post that separate from this because this video is probably already going to be super long but I just really want to reiterate if you want to come and be a United Flight Attendant do it don't let anyone talk you out of it or tell you that you can't or it's not possible um when I was with my last airline I had people telling me that I should be a flight attendant longer get some more experience under my belt that mainline training is really hard and you know you don't want to leave a good job that you already have because you might not be successful at mainline and I did it and I'm here and I'm successful so just if you want to use me as an example of you could do anything you put your mind to like I'm definitely the type of person who's like oh that person did it why can't I like that's literally how I view everything from childbirth to tattoos to piercings to everything anything people are scared of i'm like well she did it why can't i but that's just me i'm that type of person i'm hard-headed so <laughs> that really you know is my own my own way of kind of compartmentalizing and figuring things out and having the confidence to do certain things but whatever helps you do that but just know that it is doable Many people have done it before you, and I believe that you can do it too. So that's it for my United Flight Attendant training vlog. If you watch the whole thing, thank you so much. And please don't fail to like, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys in the comments. And I love to see my family growing on YouTube. I'm so happy. This is, even though I'm not super consistent with posting, this is like the most consistent I've been in anything. And I can really see, um, you know, I really can tell that you guys are enjoying my content. So I appreciate you guys. And I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for you guys. So um, thank you guys. And if you are coming to United Training, I can't wait to see you on the line. Bye.